Hey everybody. Today we're going to talk about the difference between water sprite and water wisteria. I had always believed I had water sprite in my tanks. I thought that I had the standard broadleaf uh, cultivar and then I thought I also had bought a lace leaf cultivar and I've got both of them in my tanks and then I've got one in my garami tank downstairs that's growing a little bit unusual and I think it's got some sort of deficiency. I believe it's a calcium deficiency but I'm not 100% sure on that. We can talk about that later if I get back to it. What we're going to talk about now though is determining the difference between water sprite and water wisteria. It's actually really easy once you know what you're looking for. And the key difference is not in the leaf structure. You can see here the ones in the back aren't really cooperating. They keep floating away from me. But you can see that they're a much broader leafed plant. I do have one that's a little closer up front. So generally you will see people say that this is water wisteria when you've got the broad leaves like that. I've got a website, I'll put a link below, and it actually shows a picture of a plant that looks extremely similar to that and it labels it as water wisteria. And then it shows you the very lace leaf, fine leafed plant and says that this one is water sprite. Well, it turns out that both of these are water sprite, and in fact, just like I thought, the one in the back there is the broadleaf cultivar, and this is lace leaf water sprite. So, if you look right here, you can see the little roots hanging down, and you can see how there's a little baby plant starting to develop. And you'll know from all of my other videos that I'm always pulling these little babies off of these plants and teasing them out of there. In fact, that's what all of those are. Those are little babies that I've pulled out of my garami tank and have put in here. And they'll grow rapidly and I'll have to remove them and the cycle will continue. But the point is that the babies develop off of the leaf heads here. And that's because water sprite is a type of fern. Water wisteria is a regular old stemmed plant. So if you're going to make a cutting of a water wisteria, it has to be done in the same way that you would do a normal stemmed plant, like a temple plant or something, where you would have to actually make a cutting at the base of the stem and then allow for new root growth to develop at the end of the stem where you made the cutting in the same way you know if you're a gardener you might make a cutting of an azalea or you know any type of, of stemmed plant or woody type plant that's what a water wisteria is you can float them but it's still a stemmed plant and it still propagates completely differently so the water sprite is actually a type of fern and that's what is in all of my tanks. I don't have any water wisteria at all. I've tried it several times. It never really lasts. I don't know why. I've even planted it in my good uh, eco-complete planted substrate and it's just never really survived. Uh, maybe I'll try it again now that I've got the tilapia out of my 125. Maybe the tilapia was brutalizing it and that's why it never really took or rooted in. But I've always had good luck with the water sprite and I've always floated it. I've never actually put any of this in the ground either the broad leaf or the lace leaf. I've always floated it and apparently it needs a lot of calcium and I don't know for sure but I would imagine that maybe a calcium deficiency might be the reason my um, plant in my garami tank downstairs grows funny. It grows all twisted and curly and weird it puts out perfectly healthy babies, but the plant itself, the mother plant, does not do a good job at growing properly. So I think it's got some kind of deficiency going on. However, a calcium deficiency should simply lead to the leaves getting soft and brown, and that's not really what I have happen. I do have that happen a little, but that's not the issue with that plant. And furthermore, if that's what the result of a calcium deficiency is in these water sprite, why is that the only one that's doing that? I have the same water in all my tanks. So I'm not really sure if that's what's going on or not. It could be just a genetic abnormality. I don't know, but I've got a really, really weird looking water sprite floating in my garami tank downstairs. But it is indeed a water sprite, and you can tell 100% by... 
see right there the little roots and the little baby plant starting to develop eventually actually right now let's see if we can tease it off see there you go now I've got a whole new plant growing right there that is absolutely definitively a water sprite if it does that the water wisteria is a standard stemmed plant and it's as simple as that so there you go I hope that was helpful to somebody I know a lot of people have a lot of back and forth as to which is which and now you know that's the big secret I'll put a link below to that website I looked at if you want to look at the pictures and read the description and how to care for them and so on and so forth I found it to be a fairly interesting uh, page so I'll put a link down below to that so thanks again for watching hope you enjoyed don't forget to subscribe and don't forget this one is my 10 gallon office tank thanks again I'll see you real soon in the next one